number one, every time we play, there's a tremendous amount on the line. We, but the, the game that gets talked about the most that we've played this year is Florida State because that's one we lost that people thought we were going to win. The next game that gets talked about the most is Virginia. And then the third next one would be, Florida, uh, would be uh, Notre Dame. So people talk about your losses. They, they talk about the, the things that you don't do well. That, that's who we are in, in modern day, and, and that's, that's okay. That's just what it is. Uh, I think we know where we are. We're, we're a team that's making tremendous progress. Uh, we're getting better in every area. Um, the, the question is, are we ready to beat a top 10 team or not? We, I, th I thought we might be against Notre Dame. We weren't. So Miami's playing as good as Notre Dame now. They, they've improved so much from last year. They've improved so much since their Clemson game. It doesn't even look like the same team. Um, so they're, they are deserving of a, a, a top 10 team in the country. In fact, I, I think you'd have to say that Manny Diaz should be uh, in the discussion for coach of the year to show the progress that they've made since last year and in, in, in every area. Uh, so I, I, I think the, the question is, um, are we ready to take the next step and, and beat a top 10 team, which I think we've done twice since, um, since I left here. Um, so it, it hasn't been a, a regular occurrence. So uh, I, I think we know who we are. We know where we are. The question is, are we ready to take the next step? Uh, th there's no doubt I love these games. Th these games are a lot more fun than the ones you're supposed to win. Because the ones you're supposed to win, everybody expects you to win. And when you do, everybody says, ah, they're supposed to beat them. Uh, so this is, uh, th these, are, these are fun challenges. These are, these are great opportunities for our program um, in, in the early stages of our program to, to, to take a huge step in people's mind. Now, what I did learn here before and what I learned at Texas, if you beat Miami, then it's, well, you got to win all of them now. You're, you're, you, you, got, you can beat Miami, you can beat everybody. So it, it never goes away. I mean, it's always next and next and next and next. And the, the process in, in building a program or rebuilding a program is first, you got to win at home. And then people say, well, you can't win on the road. Then you got to win on the road. And then next they say, you, you can't beat a, a top 25 team. Well, you got to do that. And then the next thing is they said, well, you can't beat a top 10 team. Yep. Well, th then you got to do that. And then you got to win the championship. So you're going to win all the games. And until you do that, people are never happy. And then I learned at Texas, as soon as you do that, then you got to do it again. And then you got to do it again. And then you got to do it again. So what you do is you try to do the best you can do with your team per week and not worry about all the other stuff that, that happens or the perception or, or, or where you are. You just want to do the best you can do.